to my channel and for today's video I am going to do how to create a meal plan. I did a how to create a workout plan and I got a lot of good feedback from it. Y'all loved it. Kind of like part two series to it. Writing a meal plan is it's, it's a little bit more complicated than creating a workout plan. I definitely suggest hire a professional coach if you can afford it. But the reason I really want to make this video is because I have a lot of you guys reach out to me and I've talked to people. You, like I'll hear you guys say like, I can't afford a coach, I can't afford a nutritionist, a dietitian, so I stopped eating carbs or I stopped eating fat or I stopped eating all carbs and fat. Guys, it's no way of living. There is so much delicious food out there. Perhaps a salad? <laughs> Perhaps not. How to create a meal plan is going to be very general to give you guys a tool to sort of figure out where you should be at so you don't have to just stop eating carbs and stop eating fat. Don't do that. Carbs are delicious. There are six steps total. Some of you guys might just be steps one, two, and three, and that's just to figure out how many calories you should be eating. If you guys go all the way to step six, I will teach you how to figure out how many calories you should be eating, figure out how to put yourself in a caloric deficit, cutting fat, how to figure out your macros, how to break down your macros, how many meals you should be eating. All right guys, so step one is gonna be what is your BMR? This is gonna be the amount of calories your body needs to survive, just to wake up and lay in bed all day. How much your body needs to just function. Now there's tons of calculators out there that you guys can use to figure this out. I would suggest going to a professional. I did have mine done way back, I think like five, six years ago, and mine was 11, gosh, 11.30, 11.50 at the time. I forget exactly what it was. It had way less muscle mass back then. I think it was like 95 pounds or something. So I, I plugged in all the stuff. Heidi, 4'11", 110 pounds, female, 29. It came back with 11.30 calories. I don't think that is accurate because the amount of muscle mass that I have, and that's why going to a professional is going to be your best bet. But you know what? We can't afford a professional right now, so we're just gonna work with these calculators. Um, and that's why tracking your progress is very important. If you're losing too much weight in the beginning, then you need to up your calories. Step two is how much energy are you using? If you are working out and you are very active throughout the day, then your body's gonna require a lot more calories. It's, it's all about like how much energy you are using that day. Me, for example, I went ahead, used an online calculator. I need 1949 calories to maintain my physique right now. Is that accurate? Not really, because I usually eat about 2200 calories per day to maintain what I have because I have a good amount of muscle. The more muscle you have, the more calories your body requires. We're, we're keeping very gentle and basic, right? So I need 1949 calories to maintain, but really 2200. We're gonna keep the numbers like this just so it's very easy for you guys to follow. So BMR, right? It's 1130, that is just for me to survive. Hold on, I put heavy exercise. I mean, I, I call myself an athlete, but... I'm not competing for anything right now, so I put heavy exercise, 1949 calories. We're gonna take this number and we're gonna put ourselves in a caloric Deficit. When your body's in a caloric deficit, you are taking calories away and your body is forced to find other ways to feed itself. So to keep this very easy to follow and kind of very general, I went ahead and broke it down. Step three, what is your caloric deficit? One pound is 3,500 calories. We're gonna take seven days minus 500 calories per each day, put ourselves in a caloric deficit. 1949 calories minus 500. Now my new calories are 1449 and I'm gonna eat that every day and see how my progression is. If I am maintaining, if I'm losing, if I'm gaining. I'm telling you right now, 1449, I don't even go that low when I competed with competitions. I think the lowest that I went was like 1550 and I got super lean. So that's the end of step three. If you guys wanna follow along for the best of the steps, it's over here. Okay, so step four is gonna be what are your macros? How, how much protein should you be eating? This is, you know, everyone always argues about this. So 0.6 grams per pound is very general. 0.8 grams, if you are fairly active, you're pretty active, uh, one gram per pound of body weight. If you are building muscle or you are cutting, how much fat you should be eating, um, again, this is very general. 0.25 to 0.45, it really depends. I don't suggest going lower than 0.25. You gotta figure out your protein, figure out your fat, and then the rest goes to carbs. Let's break it down. I made this, I already mapped this out for you guys to make it simple. I got my 1449 calories. That's super 
I'm 110 pounds, so I went and bid 110 grams of protein. How many calories is that? I'm gonna times it by four because protein has four calories per gram. Four times 110 is 440 calories worth of protein only. When it comes to fat, we have 0.30 is like what I suggest. That works well for me. Decrease a little bit or increase a little bit, but that's what I'm gonna do. So 0.30 times my calories that I'm eating right now is gonna give me 434 calories worth of fat. I divide that by nine to get the grams because fat has nine calories per gram. Now we have 48 grams of fat. So I figured out my protein, 110 grams of protein, figure out my fat, how much carbs should I eat? The calories left over after you take 1449, you minus 440 calories, 434 calories. I have 575 calories left. I'm gonna put that all towards carbs. So 575 divided by four, because carbs have four calories per gram, is gonna give me 144 grams of carbs. If you guys are following along, give this video a thumbs up. So now we have our calories, now we have protein, carbs, and fat broken down. I also went ahead and gave you guys this little graph to kind of make it a little bit more simple in case you guys are like, what, I did not follow that along. Whereas Shella Gadula Mechicabula equals X, and bibbidi bobbidi boo is why. We started off with 1949 calories. That's for me to maintain what I have. Took 500 calories away per day because I want to lose some weight. And that's going to give us 1449 calories, right? And this is for cutting. Protein, I'm, I'm eating 110 grams of protein. That's going to be 440 calories. So we're going to minus that from there. Now we have 1,000 calories left over. Then we minus the fat calories, which is 434. And then we have 575 calories left. That is gonna go to carbs. Boom. And here you go. 110 grams of protein, 144 grams of carbs, 48 grams of fat. Step five is gonna be how many meals should you eat? This depends on you. Some people, like when, when I prepped for shows, I ate closer to seven meals per day, seven snacks because they're, they were so small of like little meals. I don't really have the time to be eating seven meals a day. That's like a job you're eating like all the time. A lot of times like I end up having a protein shake so I kind of count that as like a meal slash snack. So really closer I'm having like five meals per day, right? This works for my lifestyle. The final step is what do I eat? I broke everything down for you guys. I'm gonna eat five different meals. You are to break these down, sorry, break all of your macros down into, you know, divide by five, then you would get 22 grams of protein, 28.8 grams of carbs, and 9.6 grams of fat per meal. And that's if you're just like a perfect little, you know, macro, happy, obsessively counting all of your things all the time. Or meal prepping, you can do that too. Um, if you guys want to separate your meals like that, go for it. I actually prefer to get in my fats early on in the day and then in the evening. And some people are like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're eating fats at night. <gasps> also, sometimes this doesn't work out for everyone because as a snack, you just want some fruit. You just wanna have your carbs. If you do wanna count your macros, then throughout the day, just track yourself on MyFitnessPal. It's a lot less stressful. When it comes to what to eat, I am the type of person, I have a good balance. I try to eat like 80, 20, like 80% whole natural foods and 20% Maybe have, you know, a little, little dabble into here, dabble into there. I still have some cake or some donuts. You want a cookie? Freaking bread. I love bread. I'm not supposed to be eating gluten, but I still love bread. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope everything was pretty easy to follow along. I really try to keep it as simple and general and broad as possible, but still kind of giving you guys information to kind of help you out. If you guys do want a certain meal plan, I do have downloadable PDFs on my website, meal plans based on how many calories you should be eating. It has a master macro friendly list. And then I break down every single meal into how many macros are in every meal. So yeah, that is it guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want me to make more videos like this. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Comment below your favorite cheat meal. And I'm gonna pick five of you guys to give downloadable programs to because I love and appreciate you guys. So. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!